What's up guys and welcome to the 40th tutorial of programming in C++ using Xcode. In this tutorial, it's all about pointers to pointers. So without further ado, let's start the video. Okay, so the first thing you need is void find credit. You'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. So find credit and float star star FPP. Close that off. Go to the next line and have a while loop. So while the condition is star star FPP not equal to zero, cannot equal to zero. And say get rid of this. Go to the next line. Get rid of this. And say if star star FPP is less than zero and then break just have a break go to the next line and say else FPP so star FPP close that off and increment it close that off get rid of all the unneeded curly braces so we have one that's all we need we may require only one, so we may have to eliminate this one. Okay. Take that there, go to the next line and say int main, the main function, float, vowels, squared brackets, equals, curly braces, just random numbers, so 34, dot one two next one is like 67 just any garbage value you can think of at this very moment in time minus 98 point 18 86 dot 60 and we can have a zero if we really need to. So close that all off. And now the next line should be, we should close it off with a semicolon as well. Float star FP equals vowels, which we declared on top. So vowels, close that off. Find credit, which is right here. So I'll just copy this, take it here, paste that. Close that off with an ampersand and FP. So close that off again. And then S, print this all out, STD, C-O-U-T, star F-P. So the program itself is now done. All we need to do now is just run through it, explain it, and then compile to see what's actually happening. So we have a program that demonstrates pointers to pointers. Where it says void find credit right at the top, this is a pointer to pointer. This really is a pointer to pointer. And then right at the bottom in the main function, a pointer to a float where it says float star FP equals var. This is a pointer to a float. Then we can go right back up to the top where we have the while loop, the if statement. If this is that, break it else, go to here. Pass the address of the pointer. So pass the address of the pointer. And then we can modify this if we really need to. Okay. And this is also passing the address of the pointer. So we can compile this and see what we get. Build succeeded and we have minus 98.18. Okay. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for now.